Now let's see how we make this conventional condom catheter. So the items we need to make this uh, conventional Foley's catheter is a 24 French Foley's catheter, a 50 ml of syringe, silk thread, a condom, a clamp and normal saline for instance. So we're going to take, uh, take this uh, condom and uh, roll it over the fully step and we're going to secure this with a silk thread. So while you're tying this thread make sure you put only optimum force because if you tie it too tight you can cut through this condom or if it's too tight it can even obliterate the lumen and hence installation would be difficult. Also, if you tie it very loose, then uh, it, there are chances that it might leak from here. So, as we know, this Foley's catheter comes with two ports. One is a Foley, uh, urine drainage port and another is a Foley's bulb installation port. Now, you can see this uh, condom is covering the uh, urine drainage eye. Hence, to fill this condom, we will have to install saline from the urine drainage port rather than the Foley's balloon installation port. Now let's instill saline in this condom. Herein uh, you will need an assistant who will who fills the syringe and gives it to you. So by the time you are installing this 50 ml, they are ready with uh, another 50 ml syringe loaded. So this is how you instill uh, the saline as much required to create the tamponade and uh, what's different from uh, Baki balloon is that in the end you need to clamp this because we are using the drainage uh, port hence uh, if you don't clamp it uh, this uh, instilled saline is going to leak. Now you've seen how easy was this to make this uh, condom catheter and uh, it hardly took two to three minutes to assemble these things together and the items that we used to make this uh, condom catheter hardly cost around 100 to 200 rupee and in a low resource setting where the, in the face of emergency this might prove as a uh, life saving tool. But this uh, catheter comes with a few disadvantages also and like I have explained it earlier uh, this place where we tie this thread if it gets loosened up this saline might leak and that can cause failure of the tamponade in the face of emergency. Or sometimes an overzealous surgeon might just tie it too tight and that can cut through this condom again failure of this tamponade or it might be so tight that it obliterates this lumen and we are not able to instant saline from this at all. So in the face of emergency all this might uh, be time consuming and it might uh, pose fatal to the patient. But the greatest disadvantage of this condom catheter that has led to development of newer modifications of this catheter is there is no drainage port in this condom catheter as you can see there is nothing that can drain whatever the intrauterine collection was there in this uh, tamponade so that's the biggest disadvantage and hence uh, this catheter has uh, limitations in its use now let's see what are the modifications that have come uh, to use this condom catheter itself but also create a drainage port with it so this is the modification of the condom catheter. It is also called as the Chhattisgarh catheter. It has been invented by Dr. Nalini Mishra. And here you can see it is similar to the condom catheter, but now she has created a drainage port as well in this. Now let's see how we make this. So now the items required for this modified condom catheter is a 24 French catheter, a condom, a 50 ml syringe, a scissors, saline for installation and a euro bag for the drainage. So the aim here is to have two ports. First is one for drainage and the other port we need for installation of the balloon. So now we have one port already. Now let's see how we create the second port. For this you take a syringe, uh, fill it with air and uh, inflate the Foley's balloon first. So you saw we have inflated this Foley's balloon. Now what we do is we try to rupture this balloon. Okay. So once you burst this balloon, ever the edges of this wall the balloon wall and here you can see the eye is exposed now we have two eyes now let's see how we use this to create the drainage port and here for installation so another modification what she has done is to uh, use the condom catheter itself uh, to make two rubber rings instead of using a thread to tie it 
now let's cut out two rings out of this four leaves now these are the two rings that we cut out of the four leaves and let's see how we assemble all these things together now now take this uh, condom put it on the catheter roll it down roll it down to its full length 